graduates, family, friends, welcome to the School of Education. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone, whatever part of the world you're in. I'm Chris Wilkins, I'm head of the School of Education, and I'm delighted to be hosting this very special graduation event. I know it's not the ceremony that you might have expected, nor I. Sadly, we're not able to host a school reception for you this year. That's actually the part of the graduation day I enjoyed most, the chance to socialise with you, catch up with students who I've not met for some time, meet your family, meet your friends, um, sometimes to meet distance learning graduates who may have never ever visited Leicester before. You're probably also, like me, missing the opportunity for the pomp and ceremony of the procession. I am at least, as you can see, getting the opportunity to dress up, and that's quite an enjoyable novelty at the moment. But I really do hope that we will meet for a real-time ceremony at some point in 2021. We couldn't let this year go by, however, without marking your successes in some way. So we have a number of guests in this short ceremony. I'd like to start by handing over to our President and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Nishan Kanagaraja, to say a few words. Hi, I'm Nishan Kanagaraja. I'm the Vice-Chancellor of your university. I was really looking forward to my first summer graduation ceremony with you. But we all know why we cannot hold a face-to-face -face event this year. But I just want to tell you how proud we are of your achievements, especially during these difficult times. We as a university community want to congratulate you and wish you the very best in your future. We want you to go out there and make a difference. I want you to make yourself, your family and this university proud. You are our citizens of change. All the best. In a moment, I'd like to introduce you to some of my colleagues in the School of Education. We'd also like to say a few words. Before I do so, I'd like to offer my sincere personal congratulations to you and your achievements for this year. Completing your various degrees and other awards has taken resilience and perseverance. And that would be the case for any student at any time. For those of you that have completed your studies in recent months, that is probably more true than it's ever been. I and my colleagues would like to thank you for your incredibly positive response in these challenging times. It's been a period we're unlikely to ever forget, any of us, but I hope that you'll have taken something positive from the experience. University education is about so much more than a line on your CV, than the letters after your name, or even being able to call yourself a doctor important though these things are. Learning as you go, responding to challenges with creativity, with ingenuity, with determination, these are the things that you are leaving the university with. And these are the qualities that will enable you to succeed in your chosen fields. You will also, I hope, leave with something special about the Leicester graduate. I know that since the UK went into lockdown in March, many of you have gone over and above beyond simply completing your studies. Challenging enough that that is, I know that many of you, so many of you have been volunteering with hard pressed schools across the region and perhaps back in your hometowns and cities, supporting online learning and very often helping with the face to face provision for vulnerable children in those schools. Still more of you, I know, have been volunteering to support the NHS work in various ways and with local mutual aid groups, all helping the country, our fellow citizens, come through this crisis. The University of Leicester's mission for all of us, students, graduates, staff, is to be citizens of change. You have demonstrated that you are just that. And I'm very proud of you. I know my colleagues share this pride and they are also disappointed they're not being able to celebrate with you in person. Some of them are here, however, to say a few words. So it's my pleasure to hand over now to Professor Vassal Seikler, our Director of Learning and Teaching, to Jenny Bosworth, our Head of Primary Education, and Adrian Warhurst, our Head of Secondary Education. Good afternoon, everyone. 
My name is Vassal Cycler. I'm delighted to see you here today, even if it's in very unusual circumstances, and share with you this great moment at which you receive your various awards for what has been really quite significant achievement in any case, but this year particularly uh, we have to recognise and acknowledge the forbearance and fortitude that you've shown in achieving your various awards in the teeth of what has been quite an unprecedented global crisis. And today we have people not only from Leicester and elsewhere in the United Kingdom, but from all over the world attending uh, this ceremony. Uh, normally for me on a personal level, this would be a great opportunity to meet the many distance learners that I know from online communication and from working with you in, in, in the different programs, the MSc Educational Leadership, for example, and the MA International Education. Uh, alas, that's not possible today, but we welcome you to the School of Education and we thank you for studying with us and congratulate you on your great achievement. Uh, in addition, of course, we meet today most unusually just to celebrate education uh, awards. Across the university, there'll be lots of virtual uh, ceremonies taking place to recognise achievements in a whole range of subjects and normally we would share the hall with uh, a lot of other people and see lots of families supporting uh, programs in criminology and a whole range of the social sciences but um, that's not possible. Nevertheless I want to congratulate all the students in our PGCE primary and secondary program, uh, Masters in uh, Master of Science in Educational Leadership, the MA International Education, the Masters in Education, the Postgraduate Certificate in Learning Technology, and of course our many P PhD students, our doctoral students, of whom we're also very proud. We are proud of all your achievements. Uh, our role as academics in a university is a very privileged one. We have the opportunity of working with you for a per period of time, for supporting you, we hope to great achievements, but also to enable you to progress in your careers and in your futures with greater confidence and greater assurance than when you began with us. We hope that that's been the case. Uh, I, for me, uh, 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 have been privileged for many, many years to work with a whole range of people from all over the world and uh, I'm very grateful to you all for studying with us and for being part of the University of Leicester family, uh, which you will remain for, for, for as long as you live. I'd also like to thank your families. I'm sure that um, they support you anyway in normal times, uh, but in these unprecedented times in, in recent months, we know we've heard of a lot of situations where people have had to suddenly change, uh, uh, change direction uh, and uh, rise to uh, uh, a new challenge that none of us expected a year ago or several years ago when you began your programs. So from me, Russell Cycler at the University of Leicester, to you and your family, I wish you all good things. I'm really sorry that I can't see you today and meet with you, but I hope I'll be given the opportunity again to meet some of you. And please do keep in touch, do let us know how you're getting on, and thank you again. All good things to you. Firstly, let me say congratulations and well done on completing your PGC year. It's a year that's thrown up its fair share of challenges, but you've shown resilience, you've shown initiative, and overall you've shown a real dedication and commitment to the profession. It's been an absolute pleasure to work with you as a cohort, and I know that the other primary tutors feel the same. The colleagues that you work with in the future will be very lucky to have you in their schools, and even more importantly, the children that you work with will be lucky to have you as their teachers. The impact that you have on them will be immeasurable, and don't forget that, because it continually keeps you being reminded of why you went into this profession in the first place. I hope that you'll continue your teaching journey with us at some point in the future by coming back as mentors or keeping in touch and just letting us know how you're getting on. And I'm really excited to hear how successful you'll be. So I wish you all the best with your teaching career and with your life in general. Thank you for coming to the University of Leicester. It has been a joy uh, and I look forward to hearing from you, keeping in touch with you all in the future. Take care. Thank you.
Congratulations to the PGC Secondary Cohort of 2019-20. Well done, you have made it. This year has undoubtedly been more challenging than any one of us expected. Just as everyone was getting to grips with school placement, the country went into lockdown. This brought significant change for us all. I'd like to say thank you for your resilience and professionalism as you worked towards completing your PGCE. I had the privilege of working with many of you and I know that the schools you are going to work in will be enriched by you. The course over the year has created many opportunities for you and so many of you have shown so much good work, fantastic contributions to everything we have done. And the quality of some of your essays has been fantastic. The quality of the evidence you've collected from school has been brilliant and we thank you for it. I want to wish you well in your new jobs and encourage you to keep in touch with us at the School of Education. Once again, congratulations on your achievements and all good wishes for the future. One of the advantages of the virtual graduation is that it makes the scheduling of contributions from guests outside the university just that little bit easier. And we've taken full advantage of that today. It's my great pleasure then to introduce some special guests. We'd like to add their congratulations Hi there, I'm Martin Cullen, Chair of the University's Alumni Association, and I just wanted to wish you a huge congratulations on your graduation and welcome you to our 200,000 strong alumni community. Really well done, and we look forward to welcoming you to an alumni event as soon as we can. Hi everyone, my name is Will Tudor, I'm an actor. I graduated from Leicester in 2008. I just wanna say a massive congratulations for graduating today in what is an incredibly turbulent, uh, uncertain time. You've done absolutely brilliantly, so congratulations. You should be so proud of yourself, so well done. Go and celebrate, have an amazing time, and all the best for the future. Well done, everyone. Hello, my name is Johnson Long, leader of Hong Kong alumni community. It's been a very tough year in 2020, but you guys made it. Congratulations to all the graduates. For those who want to come to Hong Kong, I'm here and welcome you. Gong Hei Sang Wai. Hello, I'm Aaron Porter, a graduate in 2006 and the first Leicester alum to be president of NUS. Today will be one you never forget. Looking back on an experience I hope you can cherish with fondness. Whether it's the friendships that will last a lifetime, the new experiences and the horizons that have been opened for you, and for some moving away from home for the first time. Leicester is now an indelible part of your life as you move on to the next chapter. Best of luck. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jonathan Tai, President of Leicester Alumni Ghana. Congratulations on the occasion of your graduation and we really can't wait to welcome you to the alumni body. Just like we say in Ghana, Akwaaba. Congratulations one more time. Hi, this is Eswantswa for Goldsmith here. Wow, congratulations, you made it. And one good thing about graduating in lockdown is you don't have to wear a mortarboard. Trust me, those hats are a nightmare, especially if you've got an afro. Plus, you are the very first students in history with 2020 vision. At last, we can go out there and make this crazy old world a much better place. I'm going to be beside you all the way. Aluta continua. This is Jamal Anderson from the Leicester Riders. I just want to wish you the very best for the future. Um, congratulations for graduating in these difficult times. It's amazing that you've done so, and, and I wish you all the best. Take care. Hi, it's uh, Brendan Rogers here from Leicester City. I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish uh, all the graduates at Leicester University big congratulations. Uh, enjoy your graduation day, and obviously, uh, safely have a great celebration this evening, and uh, I'm well done. Now I'm conscious that we're probably all spending rather more time staring at a screen than is actually good for us these days. And another positive aspect of the virtual graduation is that it's shorter than a physical event. So I'm about to draw this to a close. Now, if we were in a live event, this would be the time when everybody on the stage and graduates all put on their headgear. 
So let's at least try to maintain some traditions. And I will just finish by once again congratulating you on your achievements this year that have led you to your award here today. And I want to remind you once again that we will be holding physical graduation ceremonies in De Montfort Hall as soon as it is safe to do so. And I hope to see lots of you there with your family and friends. In the meantime, thank you again for joining us today. I wish you well in the future. Please keep in touch through the University Alumni Society, through the Friends of the School of Education Network. But above all, stay safe and well. Thank you.